polka dots because you guys know I love myself polka dots. I've been going polka dot crazy for the last couple of months. So I got a bit inspired or should I say a little bit too inspired. So what happened was I wore this kimono. I did not just say kimono. And on a casual Friday. On a casual Friday, guys. <laughs> and everybody loved it. I love it. I've had it for years now in my closet. I got it from an Indian store vendor. And I just absolutely love it. I wish I had bought the other ones because it came in blue as well as red and I somehow gravitated towards this because I I love the colors of the dots on this one and it flows beautifully so it inspired me to want more brown polka dots stuff in my closet I went crazy I went crazy I went total pretty woman on you guys today and sorry if it's pretty woman overload but that's what I did I got the palazzo pants I got the high-waisted pants because I couldn't pass it I got the top that I'm, I'll be pairing with it and guys there was no way there was no way I was going to pass this dress up and guess what I did guys I woman not pretty woman yes you heard me correctly I woman not Pretty Woman, a.k.a. Julia Roberts. Yeah, and I took every single polka dot brown and white polka dot items from her closet. I stripped her totally naked. And I took everything brown that she has in her closet. Hey, Julia. I know, she's not too very happy right now. And of course, but don't worry, she's fine. She'll be okay. Hey, Julia. She's gonna be fine, guys. Instead of polka dots, I'll give her one of my striped dresses so she could wear it. Yeah, this one. Well, not now. I'm sorry. I won't do it. Because I really do need all the polka dots these days, so I'm gonna just take this to her. See what a great woman Napa I am. But yes, guys, I absolutely love these pieces. And as you can see, I went to length and breadth to get what I wanted. So this is the dress that Julia Roberts wore in Pretty Woman. And this dress has become a classic. It's now everywhere and everybody is wearing some form or the other of this dress at least i didn't take a belt i got my own belt yeah how's it different mine is dolce and gabbana so yeah she said she forgive me and she understands 
the reason behind me taking the dresses. Yes, so Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman, she made the brown polka dot dress famous. I mean, it's, it's a classic. You can't deny that at all. And now that everything from the 90s, 80s, 70s are back, this particular um, color and dot is everywhere. It's ubiquitous everywhere. Well, you know what that means. Well, it means it's everywhere. So everybody's going crazy and Brown and white dots are selling out like there's no more dots. There are not going to be any more dots out there. So at least this time, no dogs or no brown and white animals, dotted animals. Are there brown and white dotted animals? They are not at risk. And... So because of the fact I couldn't find um, one exactly like hers, I chose these pieces and guys, I do love them. Absolutely love them. I think they're gorgeous. A bit pricey, especially for the frilly dress, but that's, I love the style. I love anything with frills, so I was okay with it. This dress is me personified well you know what i mean this is me just the way you know the pants that suit me this dress it's me love the ruching love the frills right at the slit here such a gorgeous piece if you can get these pieces you can wear them to any dressed up event you can dress them up and dress them down and that's what i love about it i don't care what anybody says if it's polka dot overload Fine, I love polka dots. <laughs> so, this is what the dress looks like. biodegradable so very environmentally friendly I think these pieces were made I think they were made in Morocco Morocco so yeah many Millennials are not likely to know who Julia Roberts is or the probably the movie Pretty Woman if you google it you would know because it's a classic movie. <laughs> I think it's one of our best movies ever, along with Erin Brockovich. And it's fine. The story 
is total fantasy and it's very unrealistic that's not likely to happen but she did a great job and she, her wardrobe was was just on point it was yeah I love the styles the wardrobe in that movie it really inspired me to stick into what I love stick into what looks flattering on my body type and so my love for high-waisted polka dots sort of items that are now all over my closet <laughs> so I love them yes us generation X we like those styles <laughs> and of course guys this is the pants that suits me I love myself a high-waisted pants and as I said I just could not pass this up this is gorgeous it's a pants that you can wear to work and you can pair this outfit like I have done here and go to lunch with your girlfriends go to brunch go to dinner it's the polka dot outfit that I just gonna be rocking for the whole summer love 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 and of course this is the kami top a little bit closer for you oh uh, yeah I would not say anymore it just goes beautifully and this is the medium and it fits quite nicely with the medium pants as well there you go guys the outfit of the summer <laughs> Because if you've seen my boot collection, I do have several boots. Boots and high-waisted trousers and boho stuff, they are kind of my weaknesses. And so, yeah, I got a couple more. I'm not sad about them. I'm very happy. This is the first pair. Okay, so it's this sock boot, very comfortable heel. <laughs> one and I chose this one because 
it's summer and I think I would get more wear out of this one in summer and I love the height of it as well and it's it gives me a bit more elevation than the Steve Madden's pair so really really love it very gorgeous very elegant looking and it's comfortable you guys know me I go for comfort the shoe could be good looking as crazy if I don't feel that it's comfortable I don't care I don't care what brand it is I would not be wearing it comfort is key so love this pair it's gorgeous on love it do I recommend it absolutely it's a yes and it's at a great price point compared to the Steve Madden one which is over a hundred dollars on sale it's still over a hundred dollars that one I think it's forty nine dollars yeah forty nine dollars it's a yes My next pair of boots are these pair. Oh, oh, yeah. Isabel Morant dupe. Guess what? I did try them. Try the black pair on and I wore it on my Instagram check it out don't be shy I don't mind if you check out my pictures and if you follow me on Instagram I don't mind at all or on snapchat follow me yeah it's all good follow me and I will make you fisher of men just kidding <laughs> follow me and I will make you a great consumer of goods an educated consumer of goods a selective consumer of goods I will make you look fabulous as well because I give you some of my best girl I tell you all my best fashion secrets how I do things yeah follow me or you're missing out and yes I'm sorry I'm, I'm actually I'm not sorry I'm not apologizing I got the black When I love it, I love it. The price point is $99. But if you compare the one that I showed you guys, the one that I bought from H&M, so much better, such better quality compared to the one at H&M. The suede is better, it has better details, it's more elegant and sleek and it's it's more comfortable it's gorgeous it's just a better looking just a better looking shoe altogether guys totally and you can rock this throughout the spring and the summer but not on rainy days really great pieces love them to pieces <laughs> so they're empty I'm done see I wasn't so bad was I <laughs> I hope you guys found this very informative and educational and that it will guide your spending habits so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.